Something more? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> well, I'm here. When it comes to uh, sexual interactions and things of that nature, I... They were all hoping you'd go there. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm going there. So, I thoroughly enjoy the sexual interactions, and it's something that, growing up, I grew up Catholic, so there's that, you know, frowned upon thing or whatever. I don't want to overdo it, I guess, or like, I don't know, I want to make everyone feel the pleasure that I'm able to provide, but how do I, how do you not go overboard? Do you have any advice for that? Do you know what I mean? I'm just well, being honest, Abraham. The conversation is different than they are hearing it. And this is what you're asking, and this is what we want you to hear. Once you're in the receptive mode and you have been inspired to a cooperative component, the sexual interaction, that part is easy. What you're really talking about is the communication with the other about what that all means. Exactly. And so you want to be clear about where you stand, what you want, what you're looking for. In other words, sometimes this is going to sound off the subject, but it isn't. Sometimes the conversation is about monogamy or many sexual partners and what's the rightness or the wrongness of all of that mm -hmm. and we say it's really the harmony that you're looking for there are so many who want monogamy but worry about not having it and then they attract the opposite of what they want so it's a matter of defining what you want now we're not talking with you about monogamy or many partners we're talking with you about what that next leads to what you're ready for it to lead to and that's the part that gets vibrationally messy because where you stand there are a whole lot of partners that are going to want you and they don't just want you now they want to drag you home with them mm -hmm. that's not what i want and so as long as you're clear about what you want not pushing against what you don't want but clear about what you want so when you're clear about what you want not only will the partners who are in harmony with that come to you but your ability to articulate so that you don't mislead because it's only then that it becomes uncomfortable right because you perceive each other as you desire and so what someone is thinking as they are beholding you and their intentions about you may not harmonize with the intentions that you have right. well if you are very clear about the intentions that you have you'll recognize that in another and here's the thing that we really want you to hear so let's say someone is standing in the wings and they've got their eye on you and law of attraction has brought you together in some way and you are now looking in the direction of the other but the desire of the other is different than your desire it seems that you should be able to just look at this person and say well i just want you to know right up front that this is where i am but it's they can't desire. hear those words they can't hear past their own powerful desire and they all think they can change your mind <laughs> so what we're getting at here is don't count on your words to convey it to them count on your clarity to attract the right ones to begin with so you'll attract those that are on the same page that you are until that page turns right. and then you'll attract those that makes sense to you it does we think this is a really good time for a segment of ending of this day <laughs> we've enjoyed this interaction immensely there is great love here for you and for now we remain in your vortex. A really good day. See you in a couple of days. Yeah, you're right.